All right, here goes the lesson on Hideaway by Freddie King. <laughs> Okay, so that has gotten to the Peter Gunn theme kind of bass line part of that song. So what I like to do is I like to take that and get that in a straight feel and then do like the Blues Brothers version where you have the... Like the horns kind of thing there. So let's go over what we had up until that point. Okay, so let's look at the intro. We have, so you have, that's like a little pickup phrase. So one, two, three. What you're doing there is you're on the B string. Two opens to the two. And then the little E string, and then a slide two to four. And then we're gonna pick up, that's like the first note of the new measure, but we're gonna pick up that little honky tonk thing. And that's that big E with the two there on the A string to the four on the A on the A string. So it's like So that one was just So all together. One, two, three. At this point you don't have to but I like to go so that's the twos, the third string and second string. That little chord, part of an A chord to the open and one trill on the G string, so. So that one's just, and we're gonna switch to the A chord there, so. Of that little three note riff. And that was B string open to the two of the G string. And I got that trill again. And then this last part. So that was open on the little E string, three on the second string. 
got that two to four slide on the G string that happens so often in the blues stuff. So that slides down and pull off to the open to the E note on the D string there. So and then a little E string to the B note down here. And that was open B string to the two on the G string. So all together once again on the intro. One, two, three. Now here for the second verse he goes and that was just open B to the two to the trill so so all plays out about the same. Now this time we go, we got a little pickup note to that for the first fret to the second fret of the D string. And then we got a riff, big string open, slide to the four, two, five, two, four, two. So, so it's like, back to that slide. The A. Now he puts in, Freddie King puts in a little riff where he goes, so that was oh, two, three, four, A. You can either do that or not, you don't have to, but. Now we get easy little part, we just go. So that's O, O, three, four. And you want to use those particular fingers so you get keep this finger over here on the two. We do that like eight times. We're going down to the A, same thing. Do that four times. Back to the E. And the fourth time. Hit the three, four to the, the A note, then to the two. So we're gonna have. Here goes the turn. So that was two, four to six with that ring finger. Four, four, six, four. And then the A. So that was a little different. breakdown thing and that chord there is the 12 on the D string then the 11 then the 9 then the 12 on the bottom and then we have these sliding double stops thing we got sevens on the third string and first string to the nine and back and then same thing with the twos and the fours to the opens also we got Thank you. 
Now here we get to the Peter Gunn thing. So I'm gonna get a little loop going and show you how we can play this. Uh, play kind of like the horn line from the kind of Blues Brothers thing that they did later on from the TV show. So you get that going a little bit, and you got this little riff. Okay, so let me slow that down a little bit and explain that. So that's 7 on the G string, to 9 on the D string, to 7 on the G string again. And then we got 12 on the B string, to 10 on the G string. And then what I like to do for the... That kind of thing, I like to do that little Stevie Ray kind of trick. So he's doing the... He's doing the small string, 7th fret with this 9 to 10 on the 3rd string. So. And I like to use the, um, I use the thumb for the lower note, and then I use my 1st finger and my 3rd finger down here for these other notes. Do that in higher octave too. We have 10 to 12. And we're going to come way up here. So that was 19 on the little string and 18 on the second string. And then back at that last riff. shows do like tremolo picking. Okay, so then after that, you've gone from basically in the song Freddie King starts us out with the bass line and he's doing a nod to that Peter Gunn show. It was current at the time in the 60s, right? So anyway, he's first it starts swinging. And that's how they play it in the song. They go through the different changes. All I did to change it to make it fit in with that longer type of Peter Gunn thing was make it go straight. And that makes it more like the Blues Brothers later version. So when I'm done doing that whole riff, I tell the band, go back into swing. We do two times of that, then we go to the A. And that's just O, O, two, O, and then three to four kind of a hammer. Five, four. When you're finished with the E and the A there stuff, you go back to the. We're back to the first type of riff. Real quick, we don't do a trill that time. And then we got an ending riff. So that was three to four, real quick. To the open. And this is an 
E7 top, so this is just like an E flat or D sharp up to E7 there at the end, so. Hit that low E if you want, you hit like an E7 9, you hit that nice pretty chord for the breakdown. Sometimes I'll even tag this one on there. So that's like an open 11, 11, 11, 12, 11. All right, so that was Hideaway by Freddie King. A lot of people have done that. Stevie Ray did it. John Mayles Blues Breakers with Eric Clapton has a super heavy, cool version. Thanks a lot. Like and subscribe. Hope you dug it. See you soon. Thanks a lot.